Governor Cooper is working with state lawmakers on a budget proposal that offers more relief for small businesses. With more of us staying home, we are doing more things around the house. That's producing extra trash and yard debris. News 3 reporter Margaret Cavanaugh shows us how one local city is dealing with all of it during these tough times. From the trash to the beach to growth projects. Public works is really a big umbrella that covers a lot of things. A lot of areas and responsibilities. Some city employees are working from home, but many crews are out on the streets. We're going along with the guidelines like everybody else, but at the same time, we have to juggle it and make sure you know, the things get done in the city to keep us running. And there's a lot more to juggle with more people staying at home. They're doing more cooking and they're cleaning out their closets and doing a lot more yard work. And all of this is creating a lot more trash. People are home. It's this time of year. They're saying, OK, let's let's go ahead and start trimming and cutting and slicing. And waste management has been busy. Officials report that last week, regular household trash was up between 25 and 30 percent and yard waste was up almost 50 percent. There's really been a big uh, push on uh, waste management for all these things with everybody staying home. Road projects like this one on 18th Street at the oceanfront continue. Officials say it's easier with fewer people on the road. They say less congestion has made it possible for crews to work during the day instead of at night. The mass shooting last May displaced public works employees and delayed some projects, but they say they're continuing to move forward. A lot of these projects aren't, you know, aren't going to be off schedule or anything because of the virus. Now, some things did, you know, we're a little late getting started and all because of last May. Uh, and, you know, we're still, we still have a shortage of engineers. But for everything we, we've got scheduled to do, we're doing it right now. Trying to move forward and keep the city operating in these difficult times. We're going to keep working. We're going to do the best we can to make sure everything gets taken care of. In Virginia Beach, I'm Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3.